was beginning earlier. It was packed. There are two levels in this church, and both were overflowing with people, even listening and mourning in the stairwell. Now, no cameras were allowed inside, but family members and friends were offering up memories of Jolie as they were speaking during her celebration of life. Now, her stepfather and sister spoke to the congregation. Jolie's family didn't want to go on camera tonight, understandably, but we did speak to a close family friend. It's a sad day, but that's okay. Um, she's where she needs to be, and we're happy that we do have some closure. The family's doing well. Everybody's hanging in there just one day at a time. And one day at a time is how this whole ordeal has really been. It took investigators nearly two weeks to find Jolie's body after she was first reported missing January 13th. It was actually the second time police searched Woodlawn Neighborhood Park in Alexandria where she was found. Investigators first had Jolie listed as a runaway, saying that first there was no evidence indicating Jolie was in danger. This despite emotional pleas from her mother insisting her daughter did not run away. On January 17th, we reported that the FBI joined the case in order to help search for the 16-year-old. After her body was found on the 26th, we learned authorities actually arrested a person of interest in the case back on January 18th. But the 17-year-old was arrested in connection to a prior alleged assault on Jolie. Sources tell Fox 5 that person is Jolie's ex-boyfriend. And that's where we stand in the case as of tonight. There's still no public identity on that person of interest interest in this case. Now, I spoke with several family members and friends out here tonight. No one is naming that person just yet. Uh, it also remains a mystery as to how Jolie died. We are waiting to hear from the medical examiner's office on her official cause of death. Of course, we'll keep you updated as details unfold. For now, live in Springfield, Corey Coffin, Fox 5 Local News. I'm only going to go by what the news is saying, and I hope you all are doing well. This is Authentic Epic Boom. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. There's been a lot of rumors, a lot of information out there that Jolie's funeral was being held in Memphis instead of uh, Virginia due to a predator at the uh, actual um, mortuary and uh, at, well, slash church memorial uh, center. I gonna only follow where the news takes me i'm gonna keep up with my research but i looked into that and i didn't find anything at all but y'all heard it for yourself on fox 5 news i'll be talking to you tonight at eight o'clock can't wait i'm a little sleepy and tired but it's okay i can't wait to talk to my beautiful peoples and i hope you guys are doing good and as much as i can on any basis that I can to research and find out more about what happened to this beautiful 16 year old girl Jolie God rest her soul I will bring you the information and keep you updated hopefully y'all paying attention to that you should know me by now even with old stories if I can find something new I'm gonna keep you updated okay uh, bless you all I will talk to you later and let me walk work on a cut